Hello everybody, today our road trip adventure takes us to Lake George, New York. Lake George is a stunning natural wonder located in upstate New York. About about three and a half three and a half hours away from New York City and it's about four and a half hours away from where we are, we are on Long Island. It's best known for its summer activities, but there are also plenty of things to do in the winter. In fact, there's a winter festival going on every weekend in February, and that's what we're actually here to explore. We're walking down the Main Street right now, which is called the Canada Street. And one thing I noticed right away that I think makes this town a little different from the other towns we've been to is everything is located along the street. So it's one street actually has everything in it. Like versus some other towns, you have different blocks going left and right, and then you have restaurants here, then you have other restaurants and shops a block away. Here, everything seems to be either on this this road, a street, or towards the lake, which makes it very convenient because we are staying about 10 minutes, 10 minute walk to the, the town, so it was perfect. A little bit of a history. Lake George, or as, as it was formerly called at Caldwell, was formed from three towns, Quinsbury, Bolton, and Truman, on August 2nd in 1810, and it was renamed to Lake George in 1962. The town of Lake George sits on top of the one of the most pristine bodies of water in the world, which is Lake George. It's also known as a, one of the most uh, magnificent natural wonder. There are a number of different shops and restaurants here once you walk along this along this uh, long street. But unfortunately some of them are actually closed, so I guess we are a bit off season here. So it's not everything is open, but there are plenty of things that are open and there are plenty of people around. And here we're looking at the Fort Henry Museum, which unfortunately was closed as well. So Fort William Henry was built by the British in 1755 to protect their interests in the region it served as a crucial military outpost during the war it was besieged by french forces in 1757 and despite violent defense it ultimately fell <laughs> picture from prior years as you can see there are barrel races people do cross-country skiing motorcycle races and there's also a nice castle nearby there are plenty of things to do when the lake is frozen but unfortunately this year the temperatures have been a little mild so they couldn't really do a lot of things on the lake but you could still enjoy this beauty it's it's actually it's it's just amazing Thomas Jefferson once said that Lake George, without comparison, the most beautiful water he has ever seen. Those boats you see on the distance there, those are the boat tours they have in the summer. This lake stretches actually pretty far. And here's the castle experience. Unfortunately, they're closed today because of the melting temperatures. But you can walk around and see the lights and to get some of the experience I can only imagine what it's like to go actually go in we'll try to get back here at some point and and fully enjoy this adventure the staff are very friendly some of them are dressed up in costumes or just like bracelets for the festival you get to enjoy a lot of things for for a discount price or free like this horse and carriage ride is actually free with your bracelet there are two different ones in different parts of town. This one takes you through the town. We did the one closer by the lake, but I'm sure both of them are equally fun and just to kind of good to explore the town in a, in a horse and carriage. So that's the one we're going to take here today. I kind of wish there was a little more snow on the ground. Kind of you, you had a little more of that, I guess, holiday Christmas experience. I mean, I know it's way past Christmas at this time, but it was still fun. And I, I, it's kind of, I guess it's a good thing it was a little milder, so it wasn't as cold when you were right, right on the carriage. Only thing I wished, if they had one, like, like a course and carriage ride that take you throughout the whole town on the tour, that would be, I think, really cool. But honestly, what they have here now, it's, it's equally a lot, it's equally fun. They, they take you around the uh, shore area by the lake. The building right ahead of us is the historic Lake George train station. 
has a very interesting architecture of the statues right on top there on the tower. But this building was built between 1909 and 1911. At this point, you can't find any rail tracks around it, but I'm sure in its, in its glory it was pretty busy because I, I, I bet it was one of the major hubs around here. On our right side is the Million Dollar Beach, which opened in 1951 at the cost of, yep, million dollars. So I wonder if that's how it got its name as a Million Dollar Beach, but it's a beautiful sandy beach. And, this, and I'm sure it's a, probably one of the prime destinations around here in the summer. This building on the right is actually built like a lighthouse. Place to the right looks like an old lighthouse. And here is the Lake George Steam Steamboat Company. Those are real steam powered, coal powered boats that actually take you on the tour around the lake. And again, I, I know I said it earlier, but this the lake stretches very far. Okay, next part of our adventure is West Mountain Tubing Park. It's located about 60 minutes away from Lake Georgetown, so it's not too far at all. And it does feature some ski, skiing, snowboarding, and tubing. We're going to be doing tubing today. Snowboarding, skiing, trails actually broken down into three sections, it looks like. So the one here on the right is a little more beginners and then there's there's one here in the middle that's the I guess a little more intermediate and the one on the left seems to be more advanced and they were actually having a competition there because you'll see in a second there are a lot of obstacles built this they're going around them and it looks like they trails a little longer than the other ones and here's the main building in the cafe I love the reflection of the trail the tubing park is to our left and looks like there's no line here at all we just walk right in so just scanning our passes and we're good to go. Two, there are two different slopes, easier one and advanced. As you probably already guessed, we're gonna do the advanced one. Apparently supposed to go up to 50 miles an hour on that one, let's see. Wow, this person is coming down really fast. This whole launching process on top of the hill reminds me of a scene from a movie. Okay, get him out of here. A football? Oh no! Okay, what was I doing? Wake up, is. stupid! Wake up! No. Any guesses? Well, the movie is The Christmas Story. And this part of the launching process reminds me of a different part of the movie when the Santa kicks Ralphie. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know if I'm up to 50 miles an hour yet, but it does seem a lot faster than the other tube park we went to. Tubing was a great time, and we're back at the town of Lake George. We're gonna head over to the Mystic Light Trail to walk around the ice castles. Again, because like I said earlier in the video, we can go in, but we can also we can just walk around. They made they made some nice uh, trail trail here with lights, and they let you go through with no ch at no charge. We're also gonna try to catch the fireworks that usually happen here at 7 p.m. So we'll see. First time this year they added this uh, mystic light walk that goes right along the ice castle experience and it leads you to the polar bar. 
Now the I Ice Castle experience features frozen crawl tunnels, ice slides, mazes, frozen thrones, and fountains and a lot more. Right at the end of the trail is the snow bar, which is a nice place to just hang out and relax. And you could see fireworks, some of the fireworks from here. That's why I think a lot of people hanging out here. The eagle here is that's where you get your beverages from and food. We're on 8 p.m., so we're gonna go out there and uh, grab some dinner. But one thing we didn't get to do here, which we had planned to do, is the snow building. Unfortunately, it was canceled due to the weather, but we found another place to go and you'll see that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching until next time